Hello everyone. Welcome to Seda Lighthouse Project Season 2. Today, we are going to discuss about the tap to graph, the conversion of tabular data to graph data. Myself, Rupesh Bharatwaj KR. The graph convolution network requires input data to be in a graph structured format. Today, the biggest challenge among industry people is how to convert tabular data into graph formatted data and then it is utilized by graph convolution network for its powerful and complex task. Once again, I welcome all to the part 1 series of tab to graph Let's look upon the tech content covered in this video. We will be discussing in detail about what is a tabular data, graph data, why do we need to convert tabular data to a graph data and its importance, how to convert and what are the guidelines and their explanations and finally a real-time example of conversion with a data set using python and its explanations the tablet data refers to a structured data organized in rows and columns similar to a table it is a common format for representing structured information in various fields including databases spreadsheets and comma separated value csv files Tablet data is typically used to represent structured data sets where each row represent a record or an observation and each column represent a specific attribute or a variable. In tablet data, the first row often contains column headers which provides labels or name for each column while subsequent row contains data values for each attribute. Each cell in the table represents a specific data value at the intersection of a row and a column. The graph data refers to a data that is organized and represented using a graph structure. The graph is a collection of nodes, also known as vertices, that are connected by edges. Graph data can represent relationship, connections, or interactions between entities. In a graph, nodes represent individual entities such as people, objects, or concepts, while edges represent the relationship or the connections between those entities. Graph data allows for the representation of complex and interconnected relationships that are not easily captured by traditional tabular data structure. Graph data can be used to model and analyze various types of networks including social networks, biological network, networks, transportation networks, computer networks and more. It provides a powerful way to understand and analyze the relationship and dependencies within a system. Why do we need to convert tabular data to a graph data? When we convert tablet data to graph data, we can leverage the power of graph representations, algorithms and visualizations to gain deeper insights into the relationship. Moreover, which offer a more comprehensive and intuitive way to analyze the relationship and connectivity within the data. It opens up the possibility for advanced relationship analysis, network exploration and gaining deeper insights into the underlying structure of the data. Let's discuss a bit about graph representations, gra graph algorithm, visualizations, relationship analysis, and finally the traversing and query relationship. Graph representations. Graph data provides a more natural and intuitive representation of complex relationship compared to the tabular data. By converting tabular data to a graph data, you can capture the connections and the dependencies between entities more effectively. Graph allow you to re represent relationships such as friendships, collaborations, dependencies, or hierarchical structures. Graph algorithms. The graph algorithms are specifically designed to analyze and extract insights from graph data. By converting tabular data to graph data, you can apply a wide range of graph algorithms to uncover valuable information. The graph algorithm can help to identify central nodes, find shortest path, detect communities, calculate network matrices, and perform clustering and much more. The leveraging the graph algorithm allows you to gain in deeper insights into the relationship and connectivity patterns within a data. Visualization. Graph data can be visually represented using network diagram or graph visualization. By converting a tablet data to a graph data and visualizing it, you can explore and understand the relationship and the connectivity in a more intuitive way. Graph visualization enables the identification of clusters pattern bottlenecks or outliers, making it easier to communicate and interpret the data. Visual representation of the graph data enhances the ability to gain deeper insight and make informed decisions. Relationship analysis. Graph data enables advanced relationship analysis by converting a tabular data to graph data. You can explore the connections and interactions between the entities more effectively. For example, the population graph data video where we can see the and identify influential nodes understand the flow of information 
or resources, discover communities or groups, and detect potential fraud or anomalies. Let's discuss the conversion of tab to graph using Python. First of all, we need to understand the CSV data and its structure completely. Once we have a clear understanding of the data, we can initialize an empty graph. The choice of graph representation such as adjacent list, adjacent matrix or edge list is completely depend on the specific use case and the operation we want to perform on the graph. Next, we will iterate over the CSV rows. For each rows, we create a node in the graph to represent the entity or object described in the data. The nodes can be created based on the specific column in the CSV such as a unique identifier or a label. After creating the nodes, we create edges to represent the relationship or the connections between the entities. The edge can be created based on the relationship defined in the CSV such as a shared attribute or a reference between entities. Then we repeat the process of creating nodes and edges for each rows in the CSV until all the rows has been processed successfully, ensuring that the graph captures all the relationship described in the data. At this stage, we can perform additional data transform transformations or pre-processing on the graph if needed. This may include applying filters, aggregating data, or computing additional attributes based on the graph structure. Finally, we have the option to analyze and visualize the graph. These steps allow us to gain insight into the relationship and connectivity within the data. We can use graph analysis libraries like NetworkX or visualization tools like GLP and some more tools like Cytospace, iGraph, and DT.js to perform various analysis or create visual representation of the graph. By converting CSV data to a graph representation, we can leverage the power of graph structures, algorithm, and visualizations to uncover patterns, identify clusters, detect anomalies, and gain a deeper understanding of the underlying data relationships. Let's take an example of a social network tablet data, and we will follow the conversion guidelines, which we discussed previously in detail with code implementation. The CSV file has three different columns, such as source, target, and relationship. Each row represents a relationship between two individuals. The source column denoting the persons initiating the relationship, target column denoting the person receiving the relationship, and the relationship column describing the type of relationship. Before going on to the implementation part, we have an important concept to discuss, which is a building block of the tab to graph conversion in Python. Intro to graph representation. A graph representation refers to the way in which a graph data structure is stored or represented in a computer program or a system. A graph can be represented using a different data structures in Python, each with its own advantage and trade-offs. The, the choice of graph representation depends on the specific use case and the operations that need to be performed on the graph. There are three different types of graph representations. They are adjacency list, adjacency matrix, and edge list. The graph representation plays a crucial role in converting and analyzing the data in a graph form. There are different types of graph representation, each with its own characteristics. Let's discuss all of them in a nutshell. Adjacency list. The adjacency list representation is the efficient for sparse graph as it only stores a neighboring node for each node, resulting in a space complexity of O of V plus E, where V is a vertices and E is the edges and it has a constant time for adding vertices and uh, edges. It uses a dictionary or an array of linked lists to implement the graph. Adjacency matrix. The adjacency matrix representation uses a matrix of size V square to indicate edge presence or absence, resulting in a space complexity of O of V square, and a time complexity for adding vertices is O of V square, and constant time for adding edge. It is efficient for dense graph where the number of edges is close to number of nodes, but can be memory intensive for large graph. Edge list representation. The edge list representation is suitable for graph with any degree of sparse and represents the graph as a list of edges, resulting in a space complexity of O of E and time complexity for adding vertices and edges is a constant. It improves flexibility and simplicity in the representation, the graph structure. Overall, the choice of representation depends on the graph sparsity, the operation to be performed, and the memory available. Let's discuss about the code implementation for tab to graph using Python. We have taken the example of social networking tablet data, which has a column name such as source, target, and relationship, where source and target are the nodes, and the relationship is edge. 
After this crucial step of understanding the data, the next step is to create the graph representation. Since we have a small data, we will be using adjacency list for the representation. Here, we use the dictionary data structure to build the adjacency list representation where the key is a node and the value is a neighboring node, after which we will initialize an empty graph. The next step is to iterate over each rows in a data frame and process the data and we will create a nodes for each rows and, and we will check if the source and target already exist or not. If not, we will create them. Similarly, we will create edges by appending the target node to the list of neighbors for the source node and we will repeat the adding of nodes and edges until all rows in a data frame is processed. And by this process, we have got a graph represented data where Ali is connected to Bob and Charlie, where Bob connected to Charlie and Charlie has no connection. Dave has connection to Eve and he has no connection. The next important step is visualization. We use Network Lex X library for visualization purpose. In order to visualize the graph, we calculate two different parameters. One is the degree centrality and next is the betweenness centrality. Degree centrality measures the importance of a node based on the number of edges it has. It is, it is defined as a number of edges connected to a node divided by the maximum possible edges in a graph. Betweenness centrality. The betweenness centrality measures the extent to which a node lies on the shortest path between the pairs of other node. It quantifies the influence of a node has over the flow of information through the graph. In the code snippet, we have initialized the graph object and we have initialized the network x graph and then we have calculated a degree centrality and we have calculated a betweenness centrality and we have visualized the graph. The below which you can see is the exact representation of our data, tablet data and which is connected into graph data and it has been visualized graphically where it has five different nodes and four different edges. Thank you very much for watching tap to graph using python to know more about graph neural network please watch our playlist stay tuned for tap to graph part 2 using neo4j with real-time data implementation example for more information please scan the qr code displayed in the screen thank you very much for watching have a nice day bye bye